the ICPK is here to clean up this nation. You get my point? This is a dirty, filthy, foul, disgusting nation. And I'm talking about us. You know what I mean? And the reason why we're filthy and disgusting as a nation is because of the so-called, well, I ain't gonna call it the so-called market of beast. You know what I'm saying? It's the act, it's the real market of beast. And I'm gonna and I'm gonna go into it. I'm gonna go into detail so you'll understand uh the difference between the market of beast and the market of most high. You know, like we went into last week, the market of beast is not a, a microchip. You know what I mean? The market, the market of beast, um according to these fake Israelites and these Christians, the market of beast is a literal mark in your hand or in your wrist. And that 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 mark inside your wrist or inside your hand is going to cause you to turn into uh, some kind of goddamn zombie, you know what I mean? Or it turns you into um, some kind of alien or something like that. You get my point? When in reality, the mark is not um, the mark is not physical as far as like a chip. You know what I'm saying? But the mark can be physical. In what way can a mark be physical? Because we know that that mark is mental. We definitely know that the mark is mental. But how can a mark be physical? We went into it last week. Anybody in line? How can how can a mark um, be physical? Come on, with. Like said, what do you mean by your actions? Like you doing a thing? Exactly. Okay. Like what though? Give me an example. Uh, practicing homosexuality. Yes. Uh, have an attorney there. Yes. Know? That's all physical. That's all true. Being Christian. That's very true. And basically just disobeying the, the most high. Exactly. How about how about how about joining the military? Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, how about joining the police department? You get my point? Those are those, that's the physical mark. You get my point? Or how about envying the oppressor so much to where now you think that you can go out and be a mass murderer? You see what I'm saying? That mark, that physical mark is the drug dealing because you got the drugs in your hand. They're not planted into your wrist. They're not planted into your hand. You know what I mean? As an actual plant, right? But, they, but it is in your hand, though. You get my point? And you exchange it from hand to hand. What else, what else is in your hand? Weed, pills, cocaine, X, anything that you can think of that goes against the most high, you know what I'm saying? That's the mark in your hand. That's the mark of the beast. That beast is the so-called white man and his philosophies. You get my point? So when we talk about that mark, is it physical? It can be. You see what I'm saying? It actually, the physical goes hand in hand with the mental. You see what I'm saying? Because of the mentality that you gain because of the mark, it becomes a physical thing because you'll pick this up or you'll pick that up. You see what I'm saying? All right. Shalom. I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Racha Chodash. I want to give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone because those are the men that I learned this truth from through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bahashem Yahushai. Yahweh is the true name of the God of Israel. Yahweh Shai is what the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, but his one and only true name is Yahweh Shai. And um, pretty much, you know, this ain't nothing new. You know, ISUPK teaching false doctrine, you know, wearing all black, wearing black shades. And once again, you know, they're on record pretty much just winging it you know it seemed like every man that's allowed to teach from isubk it seems like they all just wing it and they come up with their own breakdowns but it's centered around the the karagma or the m-a-r-k of the um you know what this what you see on the screen that is philosophies pursuing the revelation 13 and 16 which is absolutely stupid all right because when you read verse 17 it lets you know that it's dealing with what? Our currency is dealing with buying and selling. All right. And when you actually go into the word 
M-A-R-K in Revelation 13 and 16 is letting you know that it's a physical thing. It's something that's an incision that goes underneath your flesh through a syringe and it can store data on it, which what's going to be stored on this um, RFID chip implant, which is the MOTB, the one world currency. All right. Because this is going to be a worldwide event pursuant to Revelation 3 and 10. All right. The scriptures say the hour of temptation that's going to come upon all the world. You know, when you go into that word world, the world, the um, word there in the Greek is oikomeni. So this is going to be a worldwide event that's going to take place at the same time. All right. The main focal point of prophecy is here in America, which is Babylon the Great. But this is going to take place worldwide. All right. Keep that in mind. So you just got ISUPK. They teach a false doctrine and they have a lot of blood on their hands. And it seems like all of the people that go to their classroom shows, you know, that watch them. The Most High just blinded them, ultimately. And if you don't stop following ISUPK, you're going to be destroyed. If ISUPK doesn't repent, all right, and acknowledge, you know, who the true men of the Lord are that's teaching the correct doctrine, which begins with the apostles of Great Millstone on down, Great Millstone as a whole, all right, you're going to be destroyed for that. Just teach the right thing. Teach the correct doctrine, all right? Teach our people that the MOTB is the RFID chip implant, and you know that, all right? Because it deals with buying and selling. Let you know that what? The dollar is going to collapse, all right? This is dealing with currency. This has absolutely nothing to do with philosophies, all right? Philosophies don't deal with buying and selling. So when you go to ISUPK's website, right? The Israelite School of UPK, right? This is a 501c3 tax exempt organization. All right. They're not the true prophets of the Lord. Now, if you know anything about the 501c3, it was started by an Edomite, which is a so called white man named London B. Johnson. And the purpose of the 501c3 tax exempt um, status, it was a gag order. All right. So that you couldn't speak against politicians or candidates that was running in political parties, you know, i.e. the government. So when an organization has a 501c3 tax exempt status, they can't speak against the government. All right. They can't expose conspiracies in the form of prophecy, because what is a conspiracy? The word conspiracy, when you go to the etymology online, it lets you know what? It's a plotting of evil to implant people with a chip worldwide and make that a global event through some type of false flag event that's going to take place on the planet Earth. That's a plotting of evil. So a lot of these prophecies, they can't go into it. That's why these Christian churches, they can't go into prophecy. Why? Because they have a 501c3 charter. All right. But here at Great Millstone, we don't have that. This is why we don't associate ourselves and we don't teach with these guys in the other camps. We can't fellowship with them because they hinder the word. They don't go into prophecy. They don't go into secular history. You know, their God is the God of this world, which is Satan and the so-called white man, his physical counterpart. That's who they fear and that's who they worship. They don't fear and worship Yahweh and Yahweh Shai. If they did, they would teach the right thing. They would teach prophecy. So you can see it right here. You know, you could read this. All right. This is on their website. Now I'm going to go to this site. It's called IsraeliteUnite.com. Um, and like I said, I'm just using this website for the 501c3 information. I don't recommend you to go to this website. All right. So now let's focus on this. So that's London B. Johnson. Right. Gives you a little backstory of the 501c3 charter, right? But I'm just going to hit the points. So it says, what are the results when a church incorporates and surrenders itself to the jurisdiction of the state? Meaning when the when the organization gets a 501c3 tax exempt status, what changes, right? It says the church is no longer considered a real institution. 
but it goes through a transformation and becomes a fictitious state created person or institution. And this is why these guys teach the doctrine that they teach because they're owned by the state. This is why they don't go into prophecy because they're owned by the state. The state doesn't want them to go into prophecy. Just like the Christian church, the same even applies to guys that call themselves Hebrew Israelites outside of Great Millstone. All right. So as you can see here, the church comes under jurisdiction of the state and therefore surrenders its headship to the state. All right. And you can see the rest of that. Now I'm going to go down. So it says the 501c3 Christian churches, ministries, and organizations may not do the following. Here we go. Expose conspiracies. So these dudes, they can't go into prophecy. All right. They cannot go into prophecy. Just because a guy has a garment on, he calls himself a Hebrew Israelite. He got a big ass beard. He got braids or maybe he don't got braids. That doesn't mean that he's a true man of the Lord. You know a guy is the true man of the Lord, all right, based off of what? The principles of the prophets, the examples of the prophets that they're following the same stead as the prophets. What, what prophet would be under a 501c3 charter, all right? The prophets, including Yahweh Shah himself, first and foremost, was hated even by his own people and all people. You know, that's not a part of the elect. The prophets was hated. They was hated and they, they was feared. These guys are not hated and feared. Their goal, as they state in their videos, their goal is to try and save all black people, all Hispanic people, all Native American people. But it's Yahweh Shai that's going to heal them through this baptism, right? The washing of the word, renewing your mind with these scriptures and these lessons, right? Meditating on prophecy. Yahweh Shai is physically going to change our vile bodies to be fashioned like unto his, which is what? perfection all right and that's what we waiting on that that physical change yahweh yahweh all right why yahweh shah is going to do the changing and the cleaning up so it says expose conspiracy conspiracies and then the next one says what criticize the new world order so these dudes they can't go on a prophecy because they surrender their head their headship all right meaning the authority of their organization they surrendered it to the state so this is why they don't go on a prophecy. IUIC, ISUBK, GOCC, and plenty of other camps outside of Great Millstone. All right? And I'm just going to scroll through this slowly in case you want to check this out. See? You can check that out. You can pause the screen. But I'm just going to go into the scriptures. Because Yahweh Shai, first and foremost, he warned us about this. In the last days, there was going to be, you know, scoffers. There was going to be false prophets before he comes back in Matthew, the 24th chapter. But um, some more information. Um, tax exempt, it means what? A tax exemption includes certain income revenue or even taxpayers from tax altogether. For example... Nonprofits that fulfill certain requirements are granted tax exempt status by the IRS, preventing them. Here's the purpose of the 501c3 tax exempt status, preventing them from having to pay income tax. So all the money that they get, they don't have to pay taxes. All right. They get to keep all that money. And this is why these other groups have so many members It's to make money pursuant to Micah chapter three verses 10 through 11. All right, they teach for hire. They're not divinely inspired and sent out by Yahweh and Yahweh Shai. They're teaching as a hustle. All right. So now let's get into these um, prophecies. All right. Because Peter, he warned us about this. This is Second Peter chapter two and verse one. But there were, but there were false prophets. What makes somebody a false prophet when they teach things contrary to what the scriptures are saying? When they teach things contrary to the visions and the testimony of the prophets, when they teach things and clearly, if you read in the text, all right, of the MOTB, it clearly tells you it's dealing with buying and selling. How does philosophy deal with buying and selling? You see what I'm saying? So this is why you need a man or men 
to guide you in his truth through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yashai. And those men are the apostles of Great Millstone, first and foremost, on down. Great Millstone as a whole. All right. We have been risen up through the spirit and power of Yahweh Yahweh Shai to teach you these scriptures. All right. Second Peter 2 and 1. But there were false prophets also among the people. All right. Among what people? The Israelites. You got false prophets among us. You got guys that are sheep that are wolves in sheep's clothing that's teaching false doctrine that's masonic all right that don't care about salvation they don't have faith they don't have faith in yahweh shah they been gave that up years ago that's why they doctrine change that's why it was it was a sudden change all right in the way how they carry themselves like nate it says but there were false prophets also among the people even as there shall be false teachers among you so these guys at isupk and any other 501c3 tax exempt organization that teaches from the bible they're false teachers all right they're false prophets they're going to lead you to destruction all right if you're an israelite you need to repent all right call upon the names of yahweh and yahweh shai pray in those names yahweh bashim yahweh shai all right and just follow and watch great millstone videos all right we don't say that to boast is just the truth. We have the 100% truth according to the Bible. What's needed for salvation. It says, There shall be false teachers among you who privily shall bring in damnable heresies. A heresy is a lie. All right? They're teaching based off of their own opinion. They're being wise in their own conceits, which the Bible is strongly against. It says, Even denying General Yohanna, he's on video, their leader. He said he want to establish, you know, the kingdom within this kingdom. He said that. I don't, maybe people forgot, but I remember that. You know, I remember that. He said he wanted to establish the kingdom within this kingdom. In other words, he ain't waiting on Yahweh Shai. He don't have faith on Yahweh Shai. It says, even denying the Lord, right, which the Lord name is Yahweh Shai, the deliverer of the Israelites, beginning with the elect, that brought them and bring upon themselves swift destruction. This is what's getting ready to take place any day now for you false prophets. You guys that scoff at the apostles, you teach a false doctrine. You don't understand the reality of the Lord's judgments. He's going to end up killing you if you don't repent. All right. For leading his people astray, for teaching false doctrine, the Lord is going to destroy you. At least you repent. So it says, and many shall follow their pernicious ways. And, and you can see it, you know, you can see it in um, the intro clip of the ISUPK because it was a classroom show. And I guess it was a woman. She was asking a question. She answered a question. She all hesitating, knowing damn well that shit don't make sense. All right. Philosophy don't deal with buying and selling. So it says. And many shall follow their pernicious ways by reason of whom the way of truth shall be evil spoken of. There you go. All right. Because the guy, he made a quote. If you actually watch the, um, the intro, he called certain groups fake Israelites. And, and we, we know who he's talking about. All right. We know exactly who he's talking about. Now, let's go into this. This is Jeremiah chapter 23. I'm just going to get to the point in verse 16. Thus saith the Lord of hosts. And this was dealing with back then, but this also applies to right now. Jeremiah 23 and 16. Thus saith the Lord of hosts, hearken not unto the words of the prophets. This is dealing with false prophets when you read up. All right. False prophets denounce. It says, thus saith the Lord of hosts, hearken not unto the words of the prophets that prophesy unto you. They make you vain. How they make you vain? Because they teach on lies. They're not teaching prophecy. They're teaching to make money you know when they teach it's, it's a carnal job just to make money they're not being spiritual they're not doing it in the hopes of salvation and trying to lead our people to yahweh and yahweh Shai. they're doing it to extort our people and the lord is very furious with them it says they speak a vision of their own heart being wise in their own conceits teaching that the motb is philosophy but then they never read verse 17. They never read Revelation 13 and 17 to back up 
the, the stupid ass claim that they make. It says, unto you, they make you vain. They speak a vision out of their own heart and not out of the mouth of the Lord. Exactly. And all these camps that are under that 501c3 charter, they all got that one thing in common. The MOTB is sensationalism. Oh, you guys are conspiracy theories, um, conspiracy theorists, right? The, the MOTB, that's, that's philosophies. But then they never read verse 17 and they, they hurry up and speed through the scripture because they, they know that they, you know, they know that they full of ish. So, um, yeah, that's it with that. I'm going to end it off with this because they got a lot of blood on their hands. Ezekiel 3 and 17, son of man, I have made thee a watchman unto the house of Israel. So when you come into the truth, you're called in this truth in hopes of what? Being saved by Yahweh Shai. When he physically comes back by the way of the so-called UFOs. That's the purpose of enduring unto the end. That's the purpose of doing these videos throughout the week. And going out on the highways and byways. That's for your soul salvation. Alright? The scriptures say give diligence to make your calling and election sure. You know, so when you do your videos. When you go out on the highways and byways. You know, you be charitable, um, charitable to brothers and help brothers out. You doing that in what? The hopes of salvation that Yahweh through Yahweh Shai is going to have mercy upon you. All right. And, and pardon your iniquity and have mercy on you to deliver you and protect you during the time of Jacob's trouble and the hour of temptation. All right. Son of man, I have made thee a watchman unto the house of Israel. So when you come into the truth, you got to be a watchman. All right. In the ancient world, what was the job of a watchman? He was on the high tower. And he had to blow that, that horn, that ram's horn, all right, to let you know what? The enemy is coming. So here at Great Millstone, beginning with the apostles, all right, that's what we do. We blow the warning. We always give you updates. Every single second, there's a Great Millstone video, all right, through the spirit of Yahweh Shai, updating you on prophecy, which prophecy links up with what? Current events that's happening on the planet Earth. And we're telling you things before it takes place. Because it's written already in the scriptures that it would take place, whether the people want to believe it or not. Unto the house of Israel, therefore, hear the word at my mouth. Because how does the Lord Yahweh um, speak? He speaks through Yahweh Shai, through the mouth of the prophets. Hebrews, the first chapter. So it says, therefore, hear the word at my mouth, right? And give them warning for me. So these guys, they're not giving the warning all right, from Yahweh and Yahweh Shai, because they're not sent by Yahweh and Yahweh Shai. All right, they sent by Satan on the on the left hand, and that's who they ultimately worship. That's why they wear all black. They always got them them thick black shades on, and that's why they teach the false doctrine that they teach. It's deeper than just saying, "Oh, we're the Israelites." You know, you got to teach our people about prophecy. It says, "When I say unto the wicked, thou shalt surely die, and thou givest him not warning." nor speakers to warn the wicked and who's the wicked in this um context wicked israelites that haven't repented israelites that's in that gentile state of mind all right that need to repent and remember the ways of their forefathers and have faith on yahweh and yahweh shai if they hope to be delivered you know remember what yahweh shai said if you have faith as the grain of a mustard seed a mustard seed is very small you know so that's what the Lord requires. He requires faith. That's what pleases him. It says, Nor speak, speakest to warn the wicked from his wicked way to save his life. So these words that we're teaching unto you is going to save your life if you take heed. Because it's going to lead to Yahweh Shai delivering you if you're a part of the elect. Because we hope, Lord willing, we are part of the elect. It says, To save his life, the same wicked man shall die in his iniquity, which iniquity is sin, but his blood will I require at that at thy hand. So ISUBK has a lot of blood on their hands. Beginner with General Yohanna. All right. If he doesn't repent, if their men don't repent and teach the correct doctrine through the spirit, the Lord is going to judge them, which could be fatal. And it is going to be fatal when the missiles come. It says, yet, if thou warn the wicked and he turn not from his wickedness, meaning you tell a guy the truth, you know, you rebuke him. You, you got all these rebuke videos throughout the years, but then he's still not taking heed. 
or you got an Israelite that asks you a question, you answer the question, but then he don't, he don't like the answer you gave him. You know, he's still bucking up. It says, yet if thou warn the wicked, because this is all talk about Israelites, wicked Israelites, and he turned not from his wickedness, meaning he's choosing not to repent. He's still going to live the American dream. He's still going to follow the way of the heathen, nor from his wicked way. He shall die in his iniquity, but thou, meaning you, the prophet, has delivered thy soul. Why? Because we gave you the warning, like it was commanded right here. It says, yep, again, when a righteous man doeth turn from his righteousness and commit iniquity, and I lay a stumbling block before him, because it's the Lord that lays stumbling blocks. It's the Lord, all right, that does the saving and the sealing. It says, he shall die. Because thou has not given him warning, he shall die in his sin, and his righteousness which he have done shall not be remembered, but his blood will I require at thy hand. And this applies to you guys that come into the truth, you know, you take breaks, you know, certain judgments come upon you and you, you don't teach, all right? You don't teach when, when it's very important to your salvation. You're supposed to always teach no matter what. You're supposed to go out. On the highways and byways, no matter what. You're supposed to put these videos up no matter what takes place. So you dudes that come into this truth and you're not going down the highways and byways, you're not doing your videos, you turn your back on the Lord, you denounce being an Israelite, you got a lot of blood on your hands because you were still called into this truth. All right? So, Lord willing, you was edified. Shalom.